What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Journey to Wild. Today's deck is called Bark Zooka Hunter. Yes, this is a revisit to a previous deck. I figured with the recent buff to Flark's Boom Zooka, now 7 mana, it would be a great time to revisit this very silly deck. The goal, as the title would suggest, is to fire out three Arphuses with the Zooka, collecting a ton of Lich King spells in the process, and then eventually getting them back with Zul'jin. Even better if you saved a Revenge of the Wild for the Zooka turn. Like the last time, Hemet Jungle Hunter tries to make this more consistent with most of our deck being under four mana. Master's Call works nicely here as it either draws three beasts or lets you discover Hemet as the only non-beast minion. Arphis is the only beast left in your deck after Hemet, so Death Docker Rexar's main job is to provide a backup beast to use with Dire Frenzy in case Arphis has to be played early. Most of the Lich King spells will work out in our favor as they cascade out with Zul'jin. Just be careful of a Doom Pack. That one can be a little bit awkward coming out randomly. Also, look for ways to grab Lethal with Army of the Dead into Anti-Magic Shell as it's possible your deck will have many charged minions in it post Zul'jin. All right, I'm going to leave you guys with some gameplay. Make sure to tune in tomorrow. The extended video will be online. I will see you guys next time. I must protect the wild. Let the hunt begin. If he's tokens, well, we need that. If he's uh, Vargoth, we need that one. So let's keep the Master's Call. Uh, uh, that's kind of a bad keep, but if he's a control deck, we want to get to our Hemet endgame, I guess. Technically. Yeah, I should have got rid of this. That was a good draw. What is this, Living Roots? What's going on? Oh, Jasper Spellstone. I don't mind that, honestly. Because that thing scales up, right? Like, that kills Hemet later for free. By him coining, he also slows down the Oaken Summon's turn, so we don't have to worry about that until next turn. Owl's pretty good. If he uh, Vargas here, we can go Owl deadly, right? No, we only have five mana. We definitely have a spreading flake problem. Gotta watch out for uh, for that. All right, he's gonna wish he had his Jasper spell flow for this thing. I guess he might naturalize it or something. We'll see what he does with it. Oh, he's plaguing. Is this the best use out of uh, one of these we can do? Maybe. Well. He's Jade, so he's going to have the 3-6, technically. He might have Sylvanas, too. <laughs> Are you Fortunately, I get swiped here. Does this somehow grow before it dies? No, right? I don't think so. Maybe I should have played that just to grow this by one. So Rexar versus these two. I have Rexar this actually. So that's two to each. Mm, two to each isn't what we would need. I like that this makes my hyena bigger. It's silence one of them actually.
We do get poison seeded, but at least we hit him for a billion. The naturalize goes off again. Hopefully he kills his own guy, not my guy. He gets branching pass. I'm almost out of cards. All right, we're gonna actually get to do the thing we're trying to do. We play this, get a ton of death knight spells, and then hopefully the not. Terrible ones for this. We're looking for Death Coil and Death and Decay. Because Death Coil and Death and Decay, while random... Um... Oh. Next turn we play that, and then Zul'jin try to get... More deck, basically. Or maybe I maybe I go ahead and do this first. Uh, nine mana. Army of the Dead, well, we get Arphasis, technically. Death, I think Death Coil can't go wrong. We either heal for five or we kill a minion, right? I don't think it can, uh, or hit him in the face. I don't think it can hit me. This one obviously, um, a tangled web. It's interesting too because we are gonna die a frenzy twice, possibly, hopefully. Ideally, I start the turn with a, a beast so the dire frenzy can't miss. But if I don't start the turn with a beast, we might, uh. Important I start the turn with a beast. I cannot lose my dire frenzy value. I'm out of cards. Here comes a big ass. Some reason to trade first because of of uh Oh no, I forgot about Unleash the Hounds. Oh no, I'm board locked. Oh, that's so dumb. Oh, can it? Nobody heals them. Okay, so Unleash is kind of a problem, huh? Yeah. You lose so much value here. <laughs> no, stop doing that. How much damage? We got one, two, six, eight, sixteen. So it's not lethal. Guess we uh, get rid of these because of swipe, right? Yeah, I forgot he's Malfurion. Not that he would hit this with his face, but... Alright, so what's our deck? Three Arvises and three Hounds. That's not terrible. It's kind of versatile. We still have this. We want to. 
That's pretty good now, actually, because it's like, it could be lethal, right? Uh, in fact, it's it's a lot of damage, right? It's like guaranteed almost 12. I'm definitely going to do it. I mean, there's another... Po so, is it guaranteed? Hold on, we got... We got 9, 11... If I get all three of them... 11 plus 12... He would not die, right? No, he would not die. What I gonna do with you? But I can do this on them? Oh, that's lethal. That's lethal. That's the way to win. There we go. We did it. What is up, guys? Thanks for making it to the end of the video. You've gone this far. Help the channel out. Go a little bit further. Like the video. Comment below. And if you haven't already, of course, you need to subscribe to the channel. The extended gameplay video will be up tomorrow. I'll make sure to link it here once it is online. I'll see you guys next time.